and here we are nice day just arriving lovely and bright inside and here's the first boat we went on which as you can see was called rock steady rather nice paintwork on this boat we did rather like the wine cellar in the floor I do like an eye level oven and grill I'm not really one for bending down to things anymore and I like the three burner in line top double glaze this one I think and with a um, built-in microwave as you can see Lots of cupboard state space on this boat. Um, hmm, room for about six bottles there, I reckon. The chap showing the boat round actually said somebody had uh, helped themselves to one of the bottles of wine on the previous day. A bit cheeky. Nicely set up. Somebody already owns this boat, apparently. Very spacious in the saloon, I have to say. And did like the undergunnel lighting and this sofa bed in the lounge. Although it calls itself a three-seater, I think it's arguably a four-seater. It's really quite big and is a sofa bed, so you have got space for guests or space for dogs in our case. Multi-fuel burner. I did touch the wall behind it, it was rather nice actually because it was these sort of proper slate tiles, it isn't boarded or it, it, it was lovely that was and I like the little space at the side for the logs as well. And there we are with our corner shower. Quite nice. Mermaid boat board on the inside. It does look a bit like tiles, but it wasn't. And pump out loo. Quite smart, the bathroom. Oh, hello, Matty. What I did like was the cross bed in the bedroom. And here's our swan boat. The only thing I really liked about this boat is how bright it was on the inside. It was a sort of a mint green kitchen, but all the walls, as you can see, are white, and it was very bright inside. You can imagine on a dull day, it would be quite cheerful. Again, beautifully done, very friendly people. An electric boat this one so you can see there's an induction hob and a rather nifty little wine cooler there it is just slotted in in a convenient space quite like that lots of cupboard space as per there's your fire blanket did like the wine glass holder so as you can imagine if you're traveling about your glass is secure I did like the, the black taps and things as well I think it set off the white really well there I am uh, sofa bed barn sofa and the reflex diesel stove heater apparently costs about 3000 to have one of those fitted extra all the piping and tanks and things that they have to put in. Quite a nice bathroom. Again, all those black shower heads and tap fittings, which I, mean, I quite like, they're quite smart. Very nicely made as usual. Don't think we saw a bad boat. The bedroom was interesting because um, you can't get out on the bow, but that meant there was room for two really decent sized wardrobes. 
and also as you went into the bedroom these sets of drawers as well that would be really handy for little bits and pieces and there was one of those on each side as well which I thought really quite smart quite useful of course the, the compromise then comes that you've got the bed filling up the bow which is nice because nobody gets the gunnels but I don't know if I'd fancy making that bed um, I am I'm getting a bit inflexible and there we go Miss Vida which was the Oakham's boat um, again an electric boat which seems to be kind of the theme for this year there's a smashing picture of the innards there don't quite know what's what couldn't tell you but I did like how smart, how neat and how easy accessible it was. Beautifully clean in there as well. I think you could sort of stand up and have a party in it. Lots of solar, obviously. Electric boat. Rather nice fridge freezer, I thought. Do like a one and a half sink. Got one at home, love it. It's really useful. Again, the induction hob because you've got an electric boat. I did like the fact that it was almost like a sort of downsized home kitchen. It had proper little cupboards that were lit up and I just thought it was rather nice. And there's a, a microwave and a coffee maker. Ooh, something you don't see often. Now this settee was brilliant. Apparently it was um, designed with the help of Paul and Anthony from Narrowboat Life Unlocked. And you can pull out the corner section of it so you've got an immediate double bed or you've got space to sort of stretch out yourselves in the evening. I thought it was really clever design. Love a Pullman dinette, always my favourite. Again, I like the colours they've chosen, they're just a bit funkier and a bit different. Um, and I did, I did like the layout very much, I thought it was a, a layout that could work really well. Thanks for watching. We have more boat life videos to come, including a Bickerstaff boat and a houseboat that is in Great Yarmouth.